<laughs> okay, ready? Go. Hey guys, it's Austin with Know Your Music, and I've got a music review for you today. Um, we're going to look at Kenny Chesney's latest album, The Big Revival. Uh, this was from 2014. It's only his latest now because uh, the new one hasn't come out yet. He's got a 2016 album on its way out, so we'll stick with this one for today. Um, it's a little bit par for the course for Kenny's uh, latest batch of records that he's done. Uh, I'll give you a rundown of the tracks here, starting with uh, the first one, The Big Revival. That's a, a Christian tune, actually, um, but it's a little bit rocked up, and uh, the lyrics in that one, while clean, um, he does mention uh, like old-time Southern preachers talking about uh, you know, grabbing snakes and uh, testing their faith that way, and uh, if that's uh, you know, up your alley, then, then that's okay, because that's a relatively clean song. Um, Drink It Up, not what it sounds like by the title, um, but uh, it alludes to the drinking, um, even though he does not come out and talk about it in the lyrics. Um, it's basically talking about getting the most out of life, but you can tell that there's a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, kind of wordplay there. It's a little bit tongue-in-cheek. Um, Till It's Gone, same idea, living life to its fullest, but again, it does kind of reference uh, the drinking of the party lifestyle. Uh, American Kids, uh, sort of a, almost like a liberal song, if you can guess, or if you can get something like that out of a, out of a country singer. Uh, basically, uh, kind of the uh, free love, 60s hippie type of thing, but with uh, today's uh, college kids. Um, Wild Child with Grace Potter is a relationship song, and it's not a clean relationship song. Um, there's no outward uh, mention of uh, sex or anything like that in the song, but uh, it definitely alludes to it. There is innuendo in the lyrics. Uh, Beer Can Chicken, again, uh, not a track that sounds like what the title says, um, but, uh, you know, it's basically just uh, cooking out on the beach on a grill. Um, I don't know if... Uh, any of you have ever had beer can chicken, but uh, you got to get the beer can from somewhere, so you can kind of imagine what that means. Uh, rock Bottom is a typical country rock song. Lyrically, it is quite clean. Um, there's not really anything in that song that I would um, feel like I needed to uh, turn the volume down or uh, censor from the kids. Um, and it's, it's, it's pretty up-tempo, it's a fun listen. Um, the rest of the songs on here, um, there's uh, two more up-tempo songs and uh, two more ballad-type songs. Um, the up-tempo songs are both uh, of the party nature. Um, they both do mention drinking, and um, you kind of get the uh, the idea that he's, uh, you know, when he's talking about the women in the songs, it's definitely based around, uh, you know, the wearing the bathing suits on the beach kind of thing. Um, and aside from that, there's not really anything in them. Uh, and the other two, the ballads, uh, are sort of um, talking about the past, uh, remembering uh, the good times they had, you know, he had way back when. Um, the last track on here, If This Bus Could Talk, another clean song. Um, not really anything in there that I would uh, skip past. Um, but that's, you know, it's an 11-track album. You know, there's really only a couple of songs on here that you'd want to play all the way through or that I would want to play all the way through for my kids. Um, again, it's up to you. Uh, you know, overall, it's the music on the album is not too abrasive. Uh, the vocals are clean as always, like they are with Kenny Chesney. Uh, songwriting is top-notch on here, the ones that he wrote and the ones that he took from other Na Nashville writers. Um, but the, uh, the content of the majority of the songs is uh, something that you might want to uh, you know, give a good listen to yourself uh, prior to playing for the kids. Um, it's, you know, I, I, I really enjoy the music on the album. I do have to say that the music on here is terrific. Uh, but uh, it's, um, it's, it's, it's adult. It's definitely grown up and um, it's not necessarily a family album. Um, as for what you could listen to, uh, you know, if you're into this type of music, 
and you're looking for something that you can just put in and push play. Kenny is kind of an anomaly with his music, and he has been uh, ever since the 2000s, really. Uh, back in the 90s, there was uh, quite a few handfuls of uh, country singers that, s that sounded a lot like his style. Um, anymore, he really does have a style all of his own. Um, you know, you might point to uh, maybe a Jack Johnson or um, Pepper uh, or, you know, groups like that. But then again, um, you're also going to get some, some lyrical uh, issues with, with even those guys, even with their cleanest albums. So it's, it's really hard to point you in a safe direction with these. Um, so definitely, um, you know, check out the lyrics to the songs. That's really the only thing you're going to have to worry about on here. It's not going to be something that's too loud for the kids or too crazy or wild or anything like that. Um, so yeah, you know, take a look at those if you want to buy this uh, disc or if you want to download it. Um, certainly not something you want to just put it in and push play from the start and let it play in front of the family. So uh, anyway, and it uh, again, it is just my opinion, and uh, I'm just sharing it with you because I want you to know your music. Uh, have a good one, and thank you.